Hello, my name is John Sander. I'm one of the university's international officers uh, and I've been asked today to talk to you about uh, accommodation and the housing that the university can offer you. So, you're guaranteed accommodation as an international student from outside the European Union. Um, you have to apply by the 1st of August um, with a prepayment which will be credited against your rent. You apply for accommodation once your academic place at Sussex has been confirmed and you'll then be sent a tenancy agreement from our housing office. You should return that agreement to us as soon as possible and your degree accommodation will be available from the 25th of September. For students who are on pre-sessional programmes, of course we have accommodation available before that date, but you may find that you have to move around the 25th, 26th of September into the accommodation you'll have for the rest of the year. That's because it's one of the few occasions when the university can take the opportunity to refurbish, repaint and uh, generally spruce up the accommodation ready for the new year. So all of our accommodation is self-catering, so you can cook for yourself, although the university has a number of cafes and restaurants within the campus, so you don't have to cook on every occasion. And each of them comes with a fully equipped kitchen with storage for each student, so you'll have a four-ring burner, a toaster, a kettle, all of the things you'd find in a normal British household. Um, the halls of residence also all have access to laundry facilities, there may be a washing machine inside the, each flat or apartment, or a laundry room which is available for the area. Um, you can choose between having ensuite uh, accommodation with a, a bathroom that's just for yourself attached to your bedroom or a shared bathroom which you might share with four or five other people in your, um, in your hall. Each of the bedrooms has internet access, a broadband network point in, in every room and that's included within the rent. There's also a phone in every property uh, and within the campus, a phone in every bedroom. Um, the phones within the campus to another halls of residence or to your, your tutor are free of charge. So on campus, we have about 3,000 students, slightly over that number, living within the campus, and it's a, a convenient and safe location. You can walk from your halls of residence to your lecture within 10 or 15 minutes. Off campus, we have halls of residence both on the seafront, Kings Road, uh, with a beautiful view over the sea, the beach, etc. We also have some private houses which are in British residential areas, typically where a, a, a family might stay. And these have been chosen because they're on a bus or train route to make it easy to get to and from the campus. Of course, if you're off campus, you're closer to the, the shops, the restaurants and the beach. If you are on campus, then you're probably going to want to budget for travel into Brighton, the city, which is about nine minutes away on the train. Um, if you're off campus, you're obviously going to need to budget for travel onto the campus. In either case, this will be about £10 per week, um, or if you buy a, a monthly or termly season ticket, that'll reduce the cost. The contracts that we offer are for 39 or 49 weeks, and during that time you're committed to, to being in the University Halls of Residence. You can't move into private accommodation during your contract, but we try to be a reasonable landlord, so it might be possible to swap accommodation with other students. Um, after the first couple of weeks when there's a moratorium, because we're waiting for people who might be arriving late, uh, it's possible if you can find somebody you'd like to move into your room to exchange with them. And in fact we've got notice boards and ways of advertising if you do want to move. In terms of what you should expect, um, postgraduates are normally housed, not always, but normally housed separately from undergraduates. Undergraduates who are in postgraduate accommodation would generally be those that have requested a quieter area. And most of our residents are mixed sex. But you can request a single gender flat if you want to. Um, so, for example, we have some ladies only flats and accommodation. Um, all of the nationalities are mixed up within the halls of residence, so it's a good integration. Because international students are prioritised, in the postgraduate halls, you're probably going to find fewer British students, whereas in the undergraduate halls, obviously because we're a British university, you'll find more British students. In terms of settling in, when you first arrive after a long journey, etc., the accommodation might feel a little bit bare, um, but it's of course there to be made your own. So within a week or two, when you put up your own posters, some pot plants, etc., most people find it quite comfortable. But don't be worried if on the first night you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable with it. Um, it might be noisier than you expect, or it might be quieter than you expect, depending on what kind of norms there are in the country that you're coming from. But if you are having difficulty working or with any of your studies because you've got a noisy flatmate, um, then the library and a lot of the IT rooms are open for 24 hours a day. So it's always possible on campus to go and find somewhere quiet to study. We employ a team of residential advisors. These are senior students who've lived in the halls of residence in the past and who've been through a training programme. Um, and they Ex they exist to try to help sort out problems locally, um, but also to report more serious things upwards to get things repaired, etc. 
If you want to get more information, then the university has an agreement with an organisation called StudentPad, who can give you information about uh, the private accommodation sector. There's no onus to take the university halls of residence. Or our main residential services site is available at sussexacuk slash residential services. And from there, we particularly recommend you have a look at the housing guide, which is available as a PDF and gives you details of all of the accommodation that we offer. Thank you. That's all I want to say. Uh, I'm one of those people that's going to be in Heathrow over the arrivals weekend, 25th, 26th of September. I look forward to meeting you then.